Okay, one other feature that was added to Spring Boot uh, 2.3 is the ability to specify a graceful shutdown. So the way containers shut down, that can be quite abrupt and you can have like uh, half-baked transactions, so to speak. Uh, things might not be finished with processing. Uh, having a graceful shutdown gives the application the capability to get to a, a graceful state for uh, having everything done, so to speak. So you want to give it a couple seconds to get anything that's in flight completed rather than just terminating it abruptly. So I'm going to show you in this video how to set that up. Again, it's uh, two things that we need to do. One is to set up Spring Boot. We need to configure Spring Boot to enable this capability. And then we need to make Kubernetes aware of this capability. So the first thing we want to do is come in and I'm going to look at the inventory deployment file. We would need to add in another environment property. And this time it's going to be name. And creatively enough, this is called server shutdown. And the value we want to set is going to be graceful. So again, if there's a some type of a in-flight database transaction or if we're reading from a queue, we'll get that work done before we terminate the JVM. So this sets up the, the Spring Boot configuration. And then for Kubernetes itself, we want to go in and add in lifecycle. And we'll call this pre-stop. And we're going to execute a command. And basically, we're going to tell it to sleep for 10 seconds. So we're going to execute a shell command. And the syntax uh, for that is going to be sh for shell. It's a little weird how you have to escape every string into a common, common set of strings. Uh, then comma c. And then sleep. So we, we have a, a comma list of strings here. That's a shell command minus C for a parameter and then sleep 10. So this is going to tell Kubernetes to sleep for 10 seconds uh, as it's shutting it down. And that will allow Spring to go ahead and shut things down properly. I'm going to pause the video and apply this to the other uh, two deployments real quick. So let me pause it. I'll be right back. So for order service, and the beer service, I've also applied the uh, same values. You can see now we have the environment property server shutdown graceful and the stanza and the uh, container, uh, the container image, uh, lifecycle pre stop, exact command sleep 10. And the last step we want to do is we're going to come over to the command line. And what we want to do is say cube apply minus F inventory deployment. And we ran into an error. So let's take a closer look at that. Oh, I see what I made uh, per stop. So this should be pre, and I'm pretty sure I copied that. Very simple mistake there. I mistyped uh, the pre stop, not per stop. So let's come back over to the command line. And say the same. And I'm just going to make sure that's saved. Let me pause this and take a closer look. And when I returned, I, I saw that I did in fact miss the per stop in inventory. So I'll double check. Order is correct. And inventory here. So they're all correct. So that's working better. And we want the order deployment as well. So that, by doing a apply minus F, the deployment, that, again, that's going to tell Kubernetes to go ahead and uh, reapply those, and it will recreate those. And we can see here, like, the inventory service that is terminating. We also have a beer service terminating. And we can see that a uh, new one is uh, starting up. So by doing that apply, shuts down the old one, brings up a new one, and gets that ready for us. So those uh, values have now been set, and our Spring Boot applications will shut down gracefully. Let me toggle back over to IntelliJ just to recap. 
Again, the two things that we need to apply first is an environment property called server shutdown graceful that enables Spring Boot for that. And then for Kubernetes to uh, be sensitive to that, we are telling Kubernetes to, before stopping it, give it 10 seconds to allow it to finish processing. 